What's up guys, this is OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Motor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Everything Home, the new home launcher for your Android. So first thing we're going to do, we'll go into the Play Store and we're going to search for Everything Home. It's in beta, but I've actually already used it and it runs super smoothly. You won't even notice that it's actually in beta. So you're going to hit Install and click Accept. And what makes this launcher different from other launchers is it adapts your home screen and the apps that come up to whatever you actually search into the into the search bar so instead of just bringing up the same apps if you search for something it actually has web apps that come and are and are easily accessible no matter if you have them downloaded on your phone or not and it also has the apps that you do have on your phone as well so I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about if you didn't get that super good explanation so we're just gonna click open right here It'll take us here. You can watch the video. It's uh, in the in the tutorial already, but you can watch it from here. We're just going to click no. We're just going to click continue, and then get started. And it'll take you here, and then it'll go, what's on your mind? So I'll use, I mean, you can type it in, but I'll use the voice. Holly Berry. It's close but I'm talking about my beautiful girlfriend, Holly Berry. So you can see that it automatically adapts, it changes my wallpaper, and then anything that I click on will automatically go to Holly Berry. So I'll go to Yahoo News. And you see all the links. I didn't type in a search or anything, but all the links are Holly Berry links. So we'll go back and we'll do another one. I'll just type it in. I like video games a lot, so one of my favorite video games is Need for Speed. They're actually coming out with a new one. So it already knows what I'm talking about, Need for Speed. You see how my apps automatically change. There's no more Yahoo News. Instead, it changed to GameStop. And these are apps that I don't have on my phone. These are web apps. I do have YouTube, which comes along with it. It just gets mixed in. So let's go to GameStop. And then you can see. It's listing Need for Speed games that I can buy. Let's go back. Let's check out YouTube. What would YouTube have for a game search? Trailers for the new game. There it is right there. It's called Need for Speed Rivals, if you guys are wondering. Um, and then just gameplay. So, that's really what it does. It's super cool, super easy to use, quick to install. And if you want to import your old icons, because it, it automatically organizes everything into folders. So here's social games, local, you can read, automatically organizes it in folders and just makes everything, instead of having a million pages, I only have two now, whereas I had about four. You can still access all your apps right here, and it'll say, oh, so many apps, just click cool, you can ignore that, all your apps are still there, but they just organize it for you on your home screen. And if you want to personalize it, you can tap and hold this. And I'll ask you again if you want to import your old icons. I'll say no thanks. Got it. And then I can choose a wallpaper. So I'll just go to... I can also create a smart folder myself. So if I have, a, I don't know, some games too. Or some particular type of game. I can enter that in. Create it myself. Here's the name. And then it'll automatically upload similar things into that, into that um, folder. But right here, I can just go click here, I can choose wallpaper. I'll just go to live wallpapers. Check it out. You can also search for wallpapers on the internet. Um, and there's another, you can move stuff around. And if you want to delete an icon, you're not actually deleting it from your phone, but you're just removing it from your page. You just drag it up there, and it'll take it right off the home page. So that's, um, the new app, it's called Everything Home, and make sure to download it. It's free, it's in beta, but it's, once again, I just showed you how cool it is. It's easy to use, and it works really well, and also makes your phone look a little better. So, make sure to check it out. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. Alright, thanks guys.